One Piece has already passed its 1000th chapter, and it's still going strong. The Strott Pirates have come a long way, literally and figuratively. They've literally conquered various seas and have beaten countless asses. But what truly makes One Piece great is that despite its length, it doesn't just rinse and repeat. Right from the beginning, there have been countless questions that we've answered along the way. Yet the more the story progresses, the more questions we have. Gold D. Roger was known as the Pirate King, the strongest and most infamous being to have sailed the Grand Line. The capture and execution of Roger by the world government brought a change throughout the world. His last words, before his death, revealed the existence of the greatest treasure in the world, One Piece. It was this revelation that brought about the grand age of pirates, men who dreamed of finding One Piece, which promises an unlimited amount of riches and fame, and quite possibly the pinnacle of glory and the title of the Pirate King. Enter Monkey D. Luffy, a 17-year-old boy who defies your standard definition of a pirate, rather than the popular persona of a wicked, hardened, toothless pirate ransacking villages for fun, Luffy's reason for being a pirate is one of pure wonder, the thought of an exciting adventure that leads him to intriguing people and ultimately the promised treasure. Following in the footsteps of his childhood hero, Luffy and his crew travel across the Grand Line, experiencing crazy adventures, unveiling dark mysteries and battling strong enemies all in order to reach the most coveted of all fortunes, One Piece. Kingdom is another manga that's still going strong through time. But in Kingdom's defense, there's thousands of years worth of history. As the premise suggests, Kingdom has a lot of epic war scenes. However, these fights aren't anything like that of Fairy Tale or Inumasha. These fights are realistic and always leave pools of blood in its wake. China's Warring States period, a raging dragon that would raise the land for 500 years, saw many kingdoms rise and fall, making way for the next generation of kings and generals to fight for supremacy. Eventually, seven powerful states emerged from the endless cycle of warfare. In the kingdom of Qin Sin, a war orphan slave, trains vigorously with fellow slave and best friend Pio, who shares his proud dream of one day becoming a great general of the heavens. However, the two are suddenly forced to part ways when Pio is recruited to work in the royal palace by a retainer of the king. After a fierce coup d'etat unfolds, Pio returns to Xin, half dead, with a mission that will lead him to a meeting with China's young king, Ying Zheng who bears a striking resemblance to Pio. Kingdom follows Sin as he takes his first steps into the great blood-soaked pages of China's history. He must carve his own path to glory on his long quest to become a great general of the historic Seven Warring States. All the Naruto series, and even Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. Alongside Bleach, Naruto is one of the legendary manga with an established fan base. Naruto's Rasengan and Shadow Clone technique has defeated a lot of villains, most of which have fallen after an epic battle. Although Boruto's quality is up for debate, the first two manga are on par with its massive reputation. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, or simply Jojo, is a series of manga. Unlike most series on this list, Jojo is divided into different parts. Jojo's popularity outside Japan is partially due to its memorable content. There are literally thousands of memes from Jojo alone. Plus, the It Was Me, Deo meme has already built a legendary following of its own. Anyway, Jojo obviously isn't just a typical manga. The art is great, but reading it is like watching a telenovela. And weirdly enough, it's a telenovela that's hard to stop reading through. Considered as another Hall of Famer, Bleach has a reserved special place along with the legends. From being forcibly dragged into the world of Shinigami, Bankai and Hollows, Ichigo has come a long way and has become a lot of beings. 
Bleach probably has a lot of upgrades and level ups. In every arc, Ishigo somehow attains a new form to defeat the arc's last boss. Fortunately, Tight Kubo has amazing art skills, so all the forms look badass. Try giving it a go, and perhaps you'll finally find the answer to the million dollar question, why is it titled Bleach? Inuasha was a popular isekai, even before isekai become cool. Actually, some people may not even be aware of that. Anyway, I won't be discussing its isekai-ness. Inuyasha has won many awards, and its mangaka maker is also the creator of Rama One Half. Unlike other shonen manga, Inuyasha has more complexity and depth in terms of plot, which admittedly can make it a bit overwhelming for newer readers. Hajime no Ippo is one of the longest-running manga series ever. I find Hajime no Ippo very interesting because of its relatability. It starts off with Ippo when he's still nobody. Although he might have good muscles from fishing, his boxing is literally non-existent. But through perseverance and continuous training, he continues to develop and get stronger. As a cherry on top, this series has a great sense of comedy. Like Inuyasha, Jintama has swept up a lot of awards, but that isn't what it's famous for. Jintama prides itself for its humor and crossovers, although most of its comedy constitutes phallic jokes. But hey, if that floats your boat, so be it. But Jintama is more than just woody jokes. Its level of exaggeration and peculiar wit are also key factors to making its audience laugh. There are also rare occasions when the characters' backgrounds are explored, during which the series switches tones and becomes far more serious. Although Giant Killing has surpassed the 500 chapter mark, its popularity isn't as big as the known Shonen series. This is partially due to Seinen's smaller target demographic. Nonetheless, Tatsumi and East Tokyo United's adventure does not fall short in terms of story or emotion. From being forced to retire from an injury, Tatsumi's career in soccer changes from player to coach. He uses a peculiar means to bring out the best out of his players, while also inspiring readers. Fairy Tale has had a good 11-year run. It has successfully earned itself a place in the Shonen Hall of Fame. Like most shonen manga, Fairy Tale focuses on the power of friendship and guts. However, Fairy Tale has banked so much on Nakama power that a lot of villains have fallen victim from it, which is also the reason why it's placed here on this list. Putting aside the Nakama power, Fairy Tale has a lot of interesting powers and action scenes. Even the power-ups aren't just endless derivations of one technique. Like Naruto and Baki, Dragon Ball is another series with a lot of derivations. Dragon Ball is considered to be a trailblazer for shonen manga, although there are undeniably a lot of other esteemed manga during its generation. Dragon Ball's contribution to spreading the world of manga and the anime industry outside of Japan is undeniable. However, Dragon Ball isn't perfect. Its storyline is repetitive, and the character development is rather shallow. But if you're a fan of anything related to this series, you'll enjoy the manga. Conan is one of my childhood idols. Then I got older, and he's still one of my idols. I mean, he manages to be young again, still be favored by people, and have some spy-level gadgets. What's there not to be jealous about? Putting the shallow talk aside, Detective Conan's crime-solving story is top-notch. After more than a thousand chapters, you'll expect some sort of decline. But lo and behold, this series retains its touch. Like Jojo, Baki also consists of a series of manga with slightly different titles. Baki's fighting style isn't as realistic as Hajin no Ippo but it has more epic fight scenes. 
It features a lot of martial arts, from the ancients up to the present, and does a good job educating its readers about street fighting. And it doesn't end there. The series even touches up on borderline absurdity on the later series, featuring resurrection and cloning. Comment, share, like and subscribe. Thank you.